When pasting the wallpaper, one of the things we don't want to do is get actually paste onto the table. Because if we do that, it will be transferred onto the front of the paper, which will actually be, um, be sort of very messy. So a top tip there is literally just pull the second piece of paper over the edge, pull the third piece over this edge, and the actual piece we're pasting, just bring into the middle of the table, like this. When pasting, apply an even coat all over the surface, making sure all the edges are pasted, brushing out from the center to the sides. So I'm now going to repeat that process with my next piece. There are over 190 Dulux decorator centres, so for further advice and product information, call into your local store. Or visit our website www.duluxdecoratorcentre.co.uk where you can also order online. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. This section will show you how to get great results when hanging wallpaper. Open the top part of the paper and place onto the wall, making sure you follow the pre-marked line and your pattern motif is in full view onto the coving. Using your wallpapering brush, remove any bubbles as you go along. If you have any creases and need to make any adjustments, simply pull back the paper and readjust accordingly. Then open the bottom fold and continue following the pre-marked line. Finally, using a knife and cutting edge tool, trim the top and bottom. Remember to clean off any excess paste with your clean sponge as you go along. Once we've hung the first piece, we can then continue hanging the wallpaper around the room. Make sure that you match the pattern at eye level. So if you remember, this was our first line that we struck. Uh, and the reason for that was that when I put this piece of paper up, it will literally just take us about a quarter of an inch round the corner. So again, match the pattern and brush out the paper. We also need to make sure that the paper is firmly brushed into the corner from the top to the bottom. This ensures you get a nice clean angle. We now need to mark and cut the top corner point. This is done by cutting down from the top of the paper into that corner. Once trimmed and cleaned, I am now using the seam roller to make sure my edges are firmly in place. What we now need to do is to mark out from the corner the width of the paper minus approximately 5mm or a quarter of an inch. Once we have marked with our spirit level, this will be the line we paper up to. With the last piece slightly coming around the corner, as should be the case, this is where we need to use the overlapping adhesive. And what I would do is I would just brush it down this edge and that way we're sticking paper to paper. When hanging, make sure, as before, we brush out any bubbles or creases and always match the pattern. When papering around corners, as a result of the overlap, 
you may lose the pattern. This can be overcome by cutting out a small piece of the top paper. As you can see, here we have an electrical socket to consider. Prior to hanging this piece of paper, I have turned off the electrical supply and loosened the screws just enough in order to get the paper behind. Lightly mark the four corners of the paper against the switch and cut out to these marks from the centre. Cut off the excess. Remember to leave enough to push behind the socket. Trim the bottom and then clean the socket and the skirting board. We have a situation here where the end of the paper to the door frame is approximately two inches. What I'm going to do is I've pasted a full piece and I'm actually going to cut it on the table to bring me just round to there. The top part of the paper I'm going to add on. The rest of the paper, don't throw away, just open up because the chances are we'll, we'll use it before we finish the job. The reason I'm going to hang this in two pieces is that it is easier to handle. Measure and mark the piece you want to use. As you can see, I am scoring the paper with a tape measure, which gives you a good cutting line without marking the paper. Place this piece into position. And trim as shown. Then you can measure and cut the second piece, making sure the pattern is matched. The remainder of this piece can be unfolded and used later if needed. Some modern papers like these, you have the option of either pasting the wall or pasting the paper. If you're going to actually go for pasting the, the wall, the ideal thing to do is put lots of paste on. Make sure you do at least the width of the paper. Make sure you get lots of paste up to the ceiling or to the coving. And again, just make sure you put lots of paste on. When pasting the wall, apply a good, heavy, even coat, as this will help you move the paper into position. Then hang and trim as normal. So there you are, a really nice job achieved and something you can be very proud of. Oh, and finally, before washing out your paste, maybe just keep it for a day and check your edges, just to ensure they are all firmly stuck. There are over 190 Dulux Decorator Centres, so for further advice and product information, call into your local store. Or visit our website www.duluxdecoratorcentre.co.uk where you can also order online. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.